the other important thing is that, you know, as I mentioned, we were talking about placement agents and, and kind of, you know, back in 2008 and nine, the, the mix between, you know, P, uh, PE firms having in-house IR people, like the number of IR people at your average private equity firm just continues to increase because, you know, private equity fundraising has turned, used to be something that, you know, you'd come to market every couple of years, you'd go out, you'd meet with people, you'd raise money, you'd go home, you'd invest it, not really talk to anyone that much for the next couple of years and then come back out again. And now it's, you know, you're always in front of investors, always keeping them updated, you know, and so it's, it's really a year, year round, you know, all, right. every year. Maybe a bigger surge before right. a big fundraise, but it's, it's, you see the, the investors now expect you to kind of be giving them updates. Right. And, yeah. Why and do so, you think that is, why do you, it's just because like people demand more information all the time now. And it's just like, and as the industry matures, you know, people are used to more metrics. People want to be tracking and, and keeping in front of, and um, you know, in terms of fundraising and, and making sure that, you know, you're on people's calendars of knowing when you're coming back. Cause they only have so much money to spend every year. Um, and they need to prioritize that. You want to make sure that people know, you know, know that. So, um, so I think it's, it's a really great place to be within private equity. Um, and I think that it's, you know, a really, uh, really rewarding, interesting career path within private equity.